thinking, we're glad that you're with us this morning, and we were thinking about how many people come to you probably at your concerts and stuff or reach out to you via social media with prayer requests. Now, we saw just on Facebook a couple of minutes ago, you've got a very serious prayer request yourself. Tell us about what's going on. Well, um, I uh, was having some stomach trouble and was getting some doctor help with it and had a CAT scan. While they were trying to help me with my stomach issues, they saw that I have a mass in my right kidney. It's a tumor uh, in the right kidney. It's, they're about 90% sure it's, it's cancer. Uh, they can't biopsy it because of where it is. Mm. So they're going to have to just remove the whole kidney. Oh my gosh. And, uh, so when they get it out, then they'll be able to see what they're dealing with. They feel like it's contained. So it should be that when it comes out, pathology sees it and says, okay, you're all good. And you just need to get over the surgery. Mm. So that's what we're praying is that it's, I'm all done when it's out. Wow. And the surgery is coming up really fast, right? Yeah, the surgery is this coming Wednesday, and uh, wow. it's crazy because I've got I've got middle school disciple now weekend this weekend, and then this, which is a pleasant distraction right now. And uh, told my youth group last night, and we're kind of letting the word out today. And uh, I really was tempted to just kind of dig a hole and not talk to anybody about it. So wow. I think it's been great to see that my church is, is loving me through it and. And then my, my radio family, and, you know, you guys are a part of our lives and the Cash and Crown families all over the world. And they call people's names out to God every day. Yeah. I guess I'm asking them to pray for me now. Uh, and I know our listeners are going to be praying, Mark. How, how's Melanie and the kids doing? How are they taking this news? I was talking to Reagan, my 14-year-old, two days ago, and I said, how, how are you doing with all this? And she goes, well, you're okay, so I'm okay. Mm. And uh, it just it just reminded me that how I'm dealing with this is how they're going to deal with it. So it, it's been really upbeat at the house, and, you know, I don't want them getting all bogged down in this. And uh, I told them, hey, a worst-case scenario, I'll be in the bed for, for, for three or four weeks watching movies with you guys. <laughs> the folks at church are probably going to load your house up with the biggest collection of casseroles ever. <laughs> and you know, and the funny thing is they know I have a fear of casseroles. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery meats. <laughs> nobody can ever tell you what's in those things. They can, they can just tell you most of what's in them. So. Well, Mark, we just, on behalf of every person listening to The Fish who just knows you and loves you, we can't tell you how much we wrap our arms around you and, and we're behind you and Melanie and the kids. And we're so thankful for your gift of humor that's going to get you and your family through this. What, what a treasure to have at this time in your life. And uh, every day we'll be praying for you. Thank you, Taylor. I love you guys, and uh, we'll keep you posted on what's going on, okay? All right, Mark. Thanks for checking in with us this morning. Love you, man. You got it. Love you guys. See ya.